Hey everyone, this is Vicki with Messy Table Studio here with an AJOS hop for the month of April. The word or theme for this hop is journey, and I guess everyone's going to interpret it differently. So I'm going to take you through the journey of me trying something different that I have not done a lot of. So let's get started. All of the contributing artists for Art Joya Sharing um, gave papers or posted papers in an album, and you printed them. You print them all off. Here are the three. Whoops, where's the second one? Here we go. Here are the three that I have chosen. I will put the artist name that the papers belong to. Um, in a caption box in the video because I have to go back and I didn't write their names on the back of them because I know I'm going to chop these up so I will put their names on there later. Alright, so you see I have red, white, and blue so this is going to be a patriotic theme. Let me cut my papers up. I think I'm going to either cut them in a 5x5 five five or a 6x6. Six six. Each one of them will be cut up that size. I need to measure these to see how wide they are. Let's see. I cut all three of the pieces into five by fives, and I do have leftovers where there's lovely color still left, so I will add this to my scrap paper bin, and I'll go ahead and trim these up, the ones that still have a good amount of paper left on them. They will also go in the scrap bin, and the rest of this stuff I'm going to put into the trash because I am not saving everything like that because Lord knows I have a big enough pile already. All right, so the next part will be to cut this, I hope this is wide enough, ooh, just barely, into a five by five. I don't know if it'll do it with this. This is a, um, I save these. Okay, so I decided not to do the flag. I'm going to do something else. I am going to do... Well, where is it? There we go. I'm going to draw Texas Blue Bonnet in here. And I'm going to use this as my reference. And it's not going to cover the whole inside. I don't need for it to be that large. I don't want it to go all the way to the bottom. I'm not really sure. All right, so I've lightly sketched that on. It's not directly in this, oops, you can't see anything, can you? I'm sorry, so it's lightly done. I'm gonna take watercolor. And I'm going to paint on it, but I think what I will do since my neighbors are making noise and my windows are open, I'm going to fast forward through this part.
couldn't wait for it to dry on its own, so I went ahead and used the dryer. All right now I'm going to do my pen work on here. Let me see what size pen I need. I probably need a .005 or a .01 or .1. I'm just going to make perceived little blossoms here. It's not going to be exact, but it's good enough. Blue bonnets bloom here in the spring, and we have acreage like nearly three quarters of an acre, not acreage, acreage. Um, and on the outside of the fence towards the road, there's a patch of blue bonnets and Indian paintbrushes that bloom there every year. So we have to make sure in the spring when the grass gets wily and starts to want to go crazy growing because of all the lovely rain we've been getting, you have to remember not to mow that patch of grass so that April and May, or yeah, April, May, the um, blue bonnets will bloom. We mow after they die back, then my husband will start to mow them after that. But until they bloom, we don't mow that strip of grass. We didn't plant the blue bonnets there, so I guess the uh, people that lived here before us did it. I'm tempted to buy a couple pounds of seeds and just casting them out there so that every year we will get some blue bonnets. Today is the 13th, 2021. There's some blue bonnets. All right, so the next part, we're going to take I'm going to take this, then I'm going to glue it down to the board. And I'm going to use PVA because it, it dries very quickly and when it sticks, it is not fooling around. It will stick. I'm going to take a credit card and kind of smooth it out here a little bit so it doesn't ripple it watercolor paper. This is, I think I'm using B paper on here. Yeah, and this was a 4x4 four four square. There you go. And I didn't center this exactly in the center, so I'm going to put a little off kilter here. Straighten it out. I think that's where I want it. If not, it's too late, right? <coughs> There we go. All right. So I glue that on there. Let me get this out of the way. Then I'm going to take these papers layered. And I think I might like, as much as I like the blue next to the blue, it's not gonna make for a great contrast. So then I'm going to take the blue I'm going to go around the edges here. My neighbor's dog is barking at something that is driving it absolutely crazy. I'm going to glue this down on the top. Let's see if I can get it on here straight. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna wipe this off so I don't want this squoozing out everywhere. I think maybe that's not bad. I think I'm gonna get a different kind of glue here that's a little thinner tip on it. 
to glue the next layer. Oh, I put the blue down first and I should have put the red first. Well, poo. I don't think I can get it up now, can I? Without ripping the paper. Well, it stays. <laughs> Dad gum it. All right, so I'm going to put another thin layer of glue here right on top of the PVA. Put the white on top of this. Scoot it over just a hair. Make sure it's flat and it's hanging on the side. Okay, I think it's dry enough I can start. So the first part's a little tricky. I'm gonna poke my pokey tool in here and see if I can only pick up one layer of the paper. Which I did. Okay. So I don't want to rip all of it back. So I'm just gonna go around this much and see. I mean I can always go back and rip off more. But I'm gonna try this first and see how well it goes. Well that's not much of a circle is it? <laughs> Alright. Next layer is the white. Let me do it on this way. like it was white. Yep. All right. So now you don't tear the white all the way around. You leave some of the white showing. you want it to frame the blue bonnets on the inside. All right, and so the last layer is the blue. And there's the blue bonnets. The only problem is, is I did not, evidently, do it far enough down. Okay, so this is where I'm going to make an adjustment. I'm going to take this and lift up the red paper and tear more off of the red. See if I can make it more of a circle instead of an oval. I think when you do this part, it's helpful if you have fingernails, <laughs> which I don't have. All right. So this is, I think this is a little bit better than the, well, not my by much. All right, so this, I need to go down this way. And I need to tear a little bit more up here so that it looks a little more balanced. And it's okay if it's not perfect because, after all, you're ripping layers of paper. And I want to make sure that I get enough of this that I can still see the white, but I want to have room to tear the blue up higher so that I can see the height of the blue bonnet. I guess some of you call them lupins or lupines, which is probably more the botanical name than blue bonnets. And from what I understand, 
When I was growing up, I only thought they came in blue, but I've seen yellow ones in other colors. In my little world, the only thing that was was the blue bonnet. And you just keep tearing until you're satisfied, but don't get too crazy because then you'll get carried away and then you'll have nothing left. All right, here we go. Let's go with the blue. I want to leave a little blue as a frame. Oh, there you go. There's the bottom. Perfect. Well, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I want to make sure. Well, I gotta go up just a hair higher, and I don't think I can. So now I need to go back to a little bit of the red. Let's see, I need my pokey tool here to give me a good little start. Since I don't have fingernails, it's a little harder to get underneath there. I want to pull off a very, there we go, a little bit more of the red because then I have to pull stuff up to give the white and blue the height that needs. There we go. All right, now I can tear the blue a little bit more. There you go. There's a little blue bonnet. I think, I think maybe I should not fool around with it anymore. I have to know when to stop, but you know, I can't ever do that. So let me just tear a little bit more off around the edge. <laughs> I'm nothing at if not consistent with being inconsistent, right? All right, so. I think I might like a little more off of here, but I don't know if I can without completely making it go bonkers. I think maybe I would like this have to have been down a little lower, but it's okay. Meh. All right, let's tear a little more white off of here, and then I can carry a little more blue. Maybe that'll make not make it look as just call attention to the fact that it's not centered quite as obvious. Come on, fingernails. What little I got. Let's do this. Now I'm going to pull a little of the blue on this big patch right here and try to thin it out a little bit. Once you've torn it, you can't go back, you know? So like this right here. I probably could glue something there to fill it in, you know, but uh, I don't think that's going to match. I think it's more like this. No, I don't know. Yeah, I'll leave it. All right, let me throw a little bit more off of here. Just a pinch. I like to get rid of some of the white. Just kind of pull a little bit. I think I will glue a little piece on the circle here because I don't like that big gap there. I hope it won't be too noticeable. All right, so. Not too horrible. Anyway, so there it is. And there is my ode to 
spring flowers and my journey with using someone else's papers to complete my piece. Please remember to drop down where the description box below is. You can see the three people's names or the names of who the authors of these papers are. And then there will be um, links to the other artists that are participating in the hop down below. Please check every one of them out. Just check the next link down. Or on mine, you check the top link. And then you always check, check the top link on every one you go to. And eventually, you'll cycle back to where you started. All right, everybody, thanks for coming, and thanks for participating in the journey hop for Art Joy of Sharing. Like, share, subscribe, and you can leave a comment. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.